In this tutorial, we're going to examine how to use the website compfight.com to search Flickr for photos that are exclusively licensed under Creative Commons licensing. Creative Commons licensing is a way for content providers to explicitly tell those people who come upon their content how they may use it. So the first though of all, we go to compfight.com and here we set this to Creative Commons only. We can also set it to Creative Commons off, Creative Commons commercial, which means that we could use the photos for commercial use, but we'll set it to only. So imagine if we were looking for an image of a barn. We click search. Now one of the things you're going to find about this, the pictures that you find on Compfight is that Flickr users generally have a higher quality of picture than you would find say in a random Google Images search. So let's say that this round barn interested us and we want to explore that further so up here we can click on all sizes. We'll see a slightly larger version of that and we note at the top here that we're looking at the large version and that in fact there are a number of sizes available to us including the original size which is even bigger than this. Now notice here it says that this is downloaded under a Creative Commons license so we click on that. It takes us to the bottom of the photo where we can see the attribution and the various other limitations on the photo. So this symbol means that the person who took this photo just wants to get credit for the photo so we're going to have to attribute it to him or her. The dollar sign with a stroke through it indicates that it's for non-commercial use only so if we we're planning to make money out of the use of this photo we couldn't use it. And finally, the share alike symbol means that if we use this photo and produce something with it, whatever we produce must also be produced under a Creative Commons license in the same manner that this photo was. So we couldn't, for example, create something that was used in a different way. Now, once we've found the photo, we can right click on it and we can copy it and of course we can use it in an application we'll pasted it there with control V just as we could any image that we found on the internet but in this case we can do it with a clear conscience provided that we don't try to use it for commercial purposes and that we do give credit to the person who took the picture so let's go back and see how we're going to do that up here it says that this is uploaded by Cindy47452. That's not terribly meaningful. So let's see if we can find out some more information about her. If we click on her username and then click on her profile, we find that in fact she has given her name here. Not all users do. And you may resort to just using the user's Flickr username. But we now know that we can attribute this to her. So if we go back into our Word document, somewhere in a caption down below, we would say probably don't need to make it that large. So in that way, we've followed the wishes of the person who created the photo by attributing it to her and of course we won't use it for commercial content. Just going back here, just want to examine what happens if we change this now to commercial. Now we're looking for images that can be used in a commercial manner. If we click search, again looking for our barn, we get some of the same images but notice the round barn is no longer in this set of images because it could not be used for commercial purposes. This one however suggests that it can. Again if we click on all sizes in the licensing we find that this person only asks that they be given credit 
And that, in fact, is the minimal uh, requirement of most Creative Commons licenses, is that the person would just like to be given credit. I think we can guess his name a little easier because his photo this time is stamped with the date and with his name, so it's a little easier to provide attribution. And that is the basics of using CompFight to search for Creative Commons photos on Flickr.